Hey guys, welcome to an academy. So this is our YouTube channel. Let's crack CBHC Commerce. I'm Riti Spandana. I have nine years teaching experience and I'm a faculty in Hyderabad. So quick introduction about our an academy platform. What is it that you're going to get when you subscribe with us on the uh, app? So you get daily live classes. So daily live classes ke through up ghar pete kache internet connection ke saath ek real time classroom ka experience apko milega. You can attend all classes and you will have the educator uh, available to get all of your doubts clarified. We also have live tests and quizzes. Through these tests and quizzes, you will be able to identify what are your weak areas and what are your strong areas. We also have structured courses. तो जो भी आपका सिलेबस रहेगा उसके बेसिस पे आपके क्लासेस भी डिज़ाइन रहेंगे अनलिमिटेड एक्सेस हियर हेल्प्स यू इन एक्सेसिंग ऑल द सेशंस सो अगर आपने कोई लाइव सेशन मिस भी किया है तो यू डोंट हैव टू वरी यू विल बी एबल टू अटेंड और यू नो अटेंड द रिकॉर्डेड सेशंस ऑफ द सेम you get to prepare with our top educators and we also have special classes which are free live classes so aaj hi aap app ko download kijiye so that you can attend and check out the special free classes that we have on the an academy app all you have to do is go into google app store or apple app store and download our an academy learning app and here you need to choose which uh, you know a uh, particular exam or class you want the attend to the classes for or subscription for and you're good to go we're also available on telegram channels you can find my uh, an academy educator profile uh, telegram link and also the link to download an academy app in the description below so students this is a great news now that we have a dual uh, subscription so this uh, is a great news uh, i'll tell you why because uh, most of the students who are preparing for entrance examinations after your 12th standard have to realize that most of 11th topics are very important for your 12th exams as well so when you take a dual subscription you will have access to all the videos all the notes given by the teachers and it will also help you with your preparation for your entrance examinations or aap jab dual subscription lete ho आपकी इलेवेंथ की सिलेबस खत्म होते हैं आप ट्वेल्थ का सिलेबस का प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट कर सकते हो सो दैट वे यू विल बी वे अहेड ऑफ मोस्ट स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज इलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड इज अ बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन ना कमिंग टू द सब्सक्रिप्शन कॉस्ट आपको ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड का ये जो सब्सक्रिप्शन है डुअल सब्सक्रिप्शन एलेवेंथ और ट्वेल्थ का जब आप मेरा कोड यूज़ करोगे आर आई टी आई आपको टेन परसेंट ऑफ मिलेगा और आपका सब्सक्रिप्शन कॉस्ट हो जाएगा सिर्फ और सिर्फ ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो प्लीज़ डू नॉट डिले एनरोल टूडे एंड डू नॉट फो गेट टू यूज़ माई कोड आर आई टी आई टू अवेल योर टेन परसेंट डिस्काउंट so today we are discussing a poem from the fel flamingo textbook so here it is an elementary school classroom in a slum it's written by stephen spender was an english poet and essayist he left university college oxford without taking a degree and went to berlin in 1930 spender took a keen interest in politics and declared himself to be a socialist and pacifist a socialist is a person who fights for equal rights to everybody and a pacifist is somebody who is against war and uh, 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 you know basically war books by spender include poems of dedication the edge of being the creative element the struggle of the modern and an autobiography within a uh, world within world in an elementary school classroom in a slum has he has concentrated on themes of social injustice and classroom inequalities so let's read this 
so before that have you ever you know visited any uh, elementary school in a slum okay so let's continue our discussion or uh, let's start off with our lesson far far from gusty waves these children's faces like rootless weeds the hair torn around their pallor so basically we're talking about gusty waves these children wear, wear faces far far from these children's faces like rootless weeds their hair torn around their pallor meaning they are very untidy the students are not very neat and tidy they have not made their hair well their hair is all uh, flowing okay the tall girl with her weighed down head the paper seeming boy with rat's eyes the stunted unlucky heir of twisted bones reciting a father's gnarled disease his lesson from his desk so stunted means somebody who's not growing somebody who's just in one particular size usually stunted growth happens because of certain vitamin deficiencies either uh, to the mother during pregnancy or after birth when the child is not given good nutrition the growth of the child is usually stunted or sometimes it can be genetic also unlucky heir of twisted bones meaning some children they're born without any much you know bone development and all of that that is mainly again because of malnutrition of the mother then reciting a father's gnarled disease gnarled means something that is like this twisted something that is not straight okay then his lesson from his desk at back of the dim class one unnoted sweet and young so there are some students who are also very young and sweet uh, then her his eyes live in a dream the of squirrels game in tea room in tree room other than this so basically the kids are more interested in playing with squirrels and running around and chasing around squirrels on trees than uh, sitting here and learning why because probably they don't have a lot of awareness about any of this our sour cream walls donations shakespeare's head cloudless at dawn civilized dome riding all cities belled flowery tyrolus valley meaning that whatever is there right now in the school it is all based on the donations that they have got open handed map awarding the world its world and yet for these children these windows not this map their world where all their futures painted with a fog meaning these children usually do not have any kind of a a uh, future their future is completely foggy meaning it's not clear there's no clarity on what they're going to do in their life what they're going to achieve in their life a narrow street sealed in with a lead sky far far from rivers capes and stars of words so basically they are far far from rivers capes and stars of words meaning they have not learnt anything much the pathway to education has been closed for them surely shakespeare is wicked the map a bad example with chips and sun and love tempting them to steal for lives that shyly slyly turn sly means cunningly turn in their crammed holes from fog to endless night so he is uh, the poet is blaming shakespeare for giving them dreams for giving them false dreams to dream so in shakespeare's books if you have observed usually there is the poor people who suddenly find uh, you know riches or they suddenly find success or they suddenly find love uh, in a you know richer uh, uh, you know uh, household so basically all these he is saying that he is already always given a bad example to these children because these children reading shakespeare they hope they they think they assume that their life also might turn out to be great but their life technically is not great because there's no equality in the world on their slag heap these children were skins peeped through by bones and spectacles of steel with mended glass 
लाइक बॉटल विथ ऑन स्टोन ऑल ऑफ देयर टाइम एंड स्पेस आर फॉगी स्लम सो ब्लॉट देयर मैप विद स्लम्स एज बिग एज डूम विच मीन्स देयर मैप टू सक्सेस इज कम्प्लीटली ब्लॉटेड दे कॉन्ट सी क्लियरली दे कॉन्ट सी क्लियरली वेयर दे नीड टू गो एंड वॉट डेस्टिनेशन विल फैच एम वॉट रिजल्ट and they basically are extremely skinny malnutrition that's why he uses the term wear skins and uh, he also talks about how those who have spectacles the spectacles are broken but they can't afford new ones so they just use cello tape etc to bind them together unless governor inspector visitor this map becomes uh, their window and these windows that shut upon their lives like catacombs catacombs are again uh, uh, the catacomb is a lava okay break or break open till they break the town and show the children in green fields and make their world run azure azure is blue on gold sands and let their tongues run naked into books of books the white and green leaves open history there's whose language is the sun so basically is talking about how the governor the inspector the visitors whoever come to see the school they only care about that day and the funds that they can collect for the schools but they are not really bothered about the students there the students have to break out and they have to run uh, you know free so that from out of all of this so that they can finally find equality freedom and they can do something in their life pick the item which best answers the following the tall girl with her head weighed down means the girl is ill and exhausted has a head bent with shame has untidy hair it basically means that she is ill and exhausted head weighed down is this then the paper seeming boy with rats eyes means the boy is thin hungry and weak or you can say sly and secretive also why because they need to steal in order to survive because they don't have any money or food of their own the stunted unlucky heir of twisted bones means the boy has inherited a disability his eyes live in a dream a squirrel's game in the tree room other than this means the boy is distracted from the lesson the children's faces are compared to rootless weeds this means they are ill fed or you can say wasters sour cream is basically cream color a little yellowish okay okay so this was a, a poem so yeah. hope you have enjoyed the poem and i hope to see you all again in the next class So thank you very much and please do not forget to use my code RITI in order to avail your 10% discount thank you